Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? That's what you're wondering. Well, we're dropping down from Armu and we're heading down towards Paphos. And uh, to be honest, the weather has picked up a little bit. As you can see, the sun is, well, slowly, where, what should we call it, breaking through the not quite so blue sky. It's a little bit gray and there's a little bit of blue mixed in there as well. And uh, well, we're dropping down. You're gonna get a spectacular view, that's for sure because uh, Cyprus is a beautiful, beautiful island. And of course, it's surrounded by something called the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And most of the time, the sun is shining. And most of the people that come to downtown Paphos do get a truly, truly great holiday. And they get some, uh, well, a bit of a suntan. They get to see some great people and they get to eat some great, great food. Now, look at that. That's a great, great view. It is straight over the strange optican looking building, if you're wondering, the big white thing with the slopy sides on the roof. It's not a villa. If it was, it's a very big one, but it's actually the general hospital. And uh, as you keep going, of course, you can see that there's a bit of froth in the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea out there. A little bit chopsy mopsy. So don't forget to come back for the next episode. And uh, while I've no doubt you're going to see us dancing at Chuchka on the downtown Kedapathos Promenade and uh, harbour area. And the weather, as I've said, is a little bit chopsy mopsy. The uh, blue, blue Mediterranean Sea is certainly not just licking, it's more like lapping and knocking seven bells out of the downtown, get a Paphos uh, promenade and harbour area. And uh, no doubt it's a bit breezy down there as well. So if you want to see us monkeying around, don't forget to come back that little bit later. Gonna go and check in with the breakfast crew because you are watching Mr. Paul and the Breakfast Club. That's what it's called. Now, who's on the sofas today? Dame Anne, she's sitting there. She's the girl in charge of pretty much about everything. She's got uh, a man on each of her arms, shall we say, and they are known as the two Ronnies. And of course, on her left is the man in charge of all of the tongue twisting, and he resides in downtown Denmark, originally from uptown Israel but uh, he's now chosen to live in Denmark, and one of these days he wants to relocate to downtown Paphos. His name is Viking Ronnie, and he's sitting there with his filter coffee and a nice piece of malted toast, probably with a bit of butter on, probably. On the other arm is the other Ronnie, and of course his name is Ronnie Miller, and he's the commissioner, he's the superintendent of all police, and he's in charge of all of the uh, naughty things that Mr. Paul does on the recruitment. He phones the, well, he phones whoever he has to phone to make sure that I don't get that speeding ticket, to make sure that I don't get that ticket for going through those red lights. Hello, lately, Miss Andrea, I've been a very, very good boy, and I've only been through wow, four or five red lights a day, that's for sure. There we go. Downtown Paphos on a truly, truly spectacular day, and I think there may be a little bit more room on that sofa. Um, show me up, day man, because one of your friends is going to be sitting next to you, and of course she's in charge of all of the legalities on Marie Kirimi. and she's in downtown Poland and of course that must mean that she's a star and that must mean that her name is Anna. Anna Star, a very very drizzling dibra to you. There we go. That's how I say good morning in Polish and I'm no doubt when Anna comes out she's gonna smack me across my blue hat and say listen to me Mr. Paul this is how you say it and I've no doubt she will teach me. But I know when I say drizzling Nebra, it brings a smile to a superstar's face all the way out in Cardiff. And of course, his name is Lord Simon Payne. And of course, his partner in crime, his brother, Lord Jeremy Payne. And uh, hopefully it brings a smile to their faces on a drizzly day, as they keep telling me, in downtown Cardiff. So there we go, drizzling Nebra. And uh, she'll be appearing on a memory foam mattress close to one of those two boys very, very soon. They, uh, they quite fancy it. They quite fancy the sound of her, if you understand me. Anyway, there we go. We are now entering, well, mid Paphos, should we call it? Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Just over there, we came over the Limassol roundabout and we went straight over it. That is the Alpha Mega Hypermarket. So that's a big supermarket. Well, big by Cypriot standards. We understand if you're in America or Australia, it's a bit of a minnow. It's a very, very small place. But by Cyprus standards, it's a huge supermarket. And it's got a three-story car park as well. Coming up here is an old building which is being renovated and done up. And it's quite a nice shape. I think when it's finished, it's going to be something spectacular. And this is going to be the new Goodies, which is a fast food chain from Greece. And they're going to be opening up there. 
and we're going to be giving a bit of competition to this place just coming up here on the left. And this place is McDonald's. If your name's Miss Andrea, Mr. Mart, and of course many and many other people, they do like to pop into McDonald's now and again. We better stop, I suppose, because yes, it's on red. There we go. Just over there, that is the neon mall of Cyprus. That's what you're looking at, that greyish, drabish looking building. Uh, I don't know if it's going to age very well, but never mind. It's the neon mall of Paphos. Now, people who've been coming to Paphos for a very, very long time will remember, I'm going to confuse you all now, but in 2008, that actually opened as the Mall of Paphos. That was the original Mall of Paphos. And basically, it was a supermarket, a Costa Coffee, there was a clothes shop, there was an accessory shop, there was some toilets, and I think there was a sort of cafe, if I remember rightly, but that was it. So it wasn't really that much of a mall. And it stayed open for about three years, unfortunately went bankrupt, and it was empty until just recently, and now it's reopened. Not to be confused with the main mall of Paphos, which is of course called the King's Avenue Mall. So if you want to go and see the big, big mall, it's just off the, well, King's Avenue Mall roundabout, as I call it. And it's just up from the harbour. So if you come from the harbour on the road and keep walking straight, you'll come to a roundabout. Over the road is a silver building with big letters that says King's Avenue Mall. Coming up on the left-hand side now, again, if you know Paphos well, you will know that this was the former home centre DIY, which has now moved just up the road to the Neon Mall. Okay, so that's why they've opened the Neon Mall, because this one has closed down. And the rumour has it that they're going to be knocking all this down, former Debenhams are here as well, they're going to knock it all down and they're going to build a 27-storey skyscraper. Now, not really a skyscraper, but by Cyprus standards, by Paphos standards in particular, that is going to be a skyscraper. So if you want that perfect apartment with that perfect view to, well, anywhere in the world, that could be the place to buy that apartment. This is the former Debenhams roundabout, and of course that's what it will be called until, I don't know, they build this skyscraper perhaps and give it a fancy name, and then of course we'll rename it. But at the moment, it is the Debenhams roundabout. If you take a left there, you go into Yeroskipi village. If you keep going, as the sign suggests, you can go on the old road or join the dual carriageway and go out to Limassol and eventually go out to Nicosia. But we're heading down this way. And I know there's a lot of girls on the channel now. Miss Maggie, you've got uh, Miss Nessie, and of course Dame Anne thinking, oh, we're going down to paradise. Well, we're not. We are and we aren't. We're in paradise, aren't we? But we're heading down the tree-lined road that takes you straight down to the downtown kit of Paphos harbour and promenade area but when we get to the end of this part of the road we are going to take a right we're going to switch lanes now and we are going to cut through universal and we're going to wiggle and we're going to waggle through some of the back streets and join the tomb of the king's road and head out towards payer because that's where we're actually going there we go but the video is going to finish somewhere along tomb of the king road so like i say if you continue to watch the videos, if you watch the channel Miracle of Me, slowly but surely, you will get to learn your way around downtown Paphos and uh, familiarise yourself with some of the landmarks and some of the districts and some of the businesses that are on the routes. And hopefully, one or two people enjoy it, so one or two people do seem to come back. Now, if you are wondering about the weather, because like I say, it is starting to, well, I think you can feel it actually through the screen, it's starting to warm up. The blueness is coming back to the sky and the clouds are starting to slowly evaporate and, uh, well, bugger off to somewhere a bit colder. Hopefully not down to Poland because Anna would be very, very upset. We'll send them to Cardiff. Sorry, boys. Right, if you're wondering what the temperature is, I mean, if your name is Miss Dawn and perhaps you've got a husband called Mr. Sean, you've got a cat that you stole from Cyprus a while back, and of course a little dog who's feeling a little bit cold because you've given him a bit of a haircut. Anyway, his name is Bo Bo. There we go. That's it. Look as you pull out. Why not? Remember, the driving, well, standards in Paphos are very, very poor indeed. I include myself in that, by the way. I'm not trying to insult anybody. But obviously this lady was in a big, big rush to get home because probably she's going for lunch. And you can't blame her. There we go. Right. Now, the temperature, as I was saying, 
Sorry about the embarrassment to Mr. Bobo, but uh, he's had a bit of a shave. If you go onto the Marika and Me website, click into the photos, you're going to find his before and his after. He was shaved by Mr. Sean. Anyway, I know Dawn is sitting on the end of her seat and she's thinking, what's the temperature? What's the temperature? Well, it's around about 20 degrees. So that's not too bad, is it? Not really. Not for the first week of April. That's not too bad. So, if you want weather updates, and if you want to see pretty much live feeds of downtown Paphos, why not come back every single day? And on that note, I'm going to say the channel, how's it funded? Well, if you click through to our About page, or perhaps go into Buy Me A Coffee and search Marie and Me, you're going to find us. And that is how that you can fund us and help us and support us. Go on to that, click on the icon once or twice, and uh, guess what? That money comes to us and we liquefied it into coffee some days and other days we pop it in the tank and uh, some days we pop it into making nice blouses for Miss Archie and Rosie Galabu. But anyway, we always use your money very, very wisely indeed. So if you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe and perhaps come back for a little bit more of our madness. And I warn you now, if your name is Lady O oh So Sweet, you've got a husband called Lord Nigel Big Guns, quickly pour him a tot or two and get your bottom on the memory foam pillow because we are on one of the worst roads in the whole of Paphos. And I'm pretty sure that even the camera can pick it up. Look at that. I've now got, literally got to go off road to avoid that pothole and then there's another pothole there and another pothole there I mean ah, what can you say but why do we use this road well it keeps us off the outer ring road and the inner roads and it is faster at lunchtime because there's an awful lot of people racing around trying to go for their lunch we're going to turn this way because if you go straight it brings you to the same road but to be honest there's so many potholes on that bit of road that uh, well there's broken cars everywhere that's how severe it is so i'm going to say thanks for watching if you like what you see why not hit that like click that subscribe and perhaps come back for a little bit more of my insanity we'll let the camera fade out and hopefully we'll see you in the next one